Okay, next mission. Bought this boat. I've got to do it all up. It's a bit tatty. Needs new upholstery. Lovely boat though, electric motor for it. I've got to do it all up, paint it. Just got this uh, sign off. I should have started a bit earlier, but it's called a Diogenes. But I've got that off with the uh, steamer, which is the best way to do it. I've got my uh, sander down there. Now I've got the sign out, I've got to steam it off. So this is all to do up. Got all this to do inside, I need to jet wash it, but um, a good project. And when I get it launched, it'll be amazing. However, this opens, yeah. Just leave it open to get to moor it up there. But it's got some cracks there. And there, as you can see, so I'm going to have to strengthen all that up with some uh, sheet galvanised steel and paint it all up. I've got to get all this off first, which will be a task, but it will get done. Okay, I'm going to get the boat out now and um, wash it down. Sand it down, take the lid off it and start the repair. Here goes. Cracks there. Cracks there. Cracks. Cracks there as well. And there. All needs a plate up. Easy. So it's all broken there. Had to chop hinges off this side as well. It's all cracked away. Can you see? All sort of downsides there. Uh, all broke. Yeah. All broke there. Don't know where to fix it all. It's all broke. Work. Bit of sheet metal work. Angle grinder. Grinder. And this is one of the pieces up there. Got me. So I've just dried that in there to make another, and then another, and then another. So I need four of these. That should fit perfect then. Long brackets made for the top, two of them. Little clamp in between. They'll clamp the fiberglass with the one, two, three galvanized bolts and hinges will go there and there. Loving the tunes. And these are the four pieces. And, and, also and they're going to be drilled. You are a bunch two of holes, two holes. Again okay, to so match and then they will uh, Steve has been in touch uh, or to Steve and Donna and Kidman still listen to this. This is good. Um our sliding doors Yeah and that'll go onto there like so. There. And what you saw the bolts. Stainless steel bolts that are clamped that up, and of course on the other side, on the bottom side, and that'll make that really rigid. And the bolts cut, nuts cutting off the other side. That's to do loads of strength because it were broken there. And all this leading edge here, where the hinge goes, again, all needs painting, and then bolts chopping down there. And then when I put the hinges on, there's no stress to fiberglass. See on that side? On that one. Be all nice when it's painted and rubbed down.
Okay, we're back in the garage. All being sanded down. Ready for painting. Nice white on the top. Blue at the bottom. And we're going to do the inside as well. Just been stirred in that bit. So, put some white paint all over there. Started with the blue on the hull. There we are, nice, nice marine blue. Just been filling some of the holes at the back. Ceiling ready for painting. Just got to smooth all that down there. It's all been painted at the back. Problem is, I've got to get under here. Because this bit hasn't been painted as yet. As you can see, that's next job. Apart from that, it's getting there. Must have filled all these holes up, etc. Then I'll start on this blue up here, and then to put this uh, cover back on, needs repairing down in the, the other workshop. And then there's all the upholstery to be done in there once the inside of the boat's been painted out. So it's getting there. I reckon another week or so. And we'll be all done. Reupholstered. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm putting a full cover on it because uh, when it's left, I don't want it full of water when we get back. Or we'll have a bilge pump. So we've got some undercoat for the white. There's the undercoat for the white, unless it's going inside. So the finish on inside will be the same as this white on the outside. That's all patched up there. And if I sand him down and paint him that all be blue. Like the rest of the boat in the bottom will all be blue. And this is where the leisure batteries will be going inside there. I'll just put the bits in there for a minute. It closes down. There's the circuit breakers. These are the cable clamps because it's a 20 bar volt system, so we've got to put two in series. And we'll connect the motor to these terminals here. Should be ready to go with a bit of luck. She's looking lovely. And it's going to be called Roma 2, which the second will go there. And with the seating, that's got to be all upholstered. The battery pack goes underneath there, that'll be all upholstered. And that's to be all upholstered. And then there's a floor going in for a meter. That's to go in next. I'm just gonna cut that up. And get all this upholstered and then job sorted. And that's where you can uh, stand to get in. You don't want the upholstery there either side. You're getting in and out of the boat. All that side there is bits. Don't want any of that to stand on. Wooden templates made. Foam bought. Just cutting them out. Boat nearly painted. Still a bit more to do. On this door. Or window hatch. There's a... Uh, the footwell, but that's going to be in blue. Should be painting the blue at the bottom and the seats and this little rail at the top today, hopefully. Alt forms cut, tacked onto the wood, ready for upholstering. And there's the sheets of upholstery. All coming on well now. Thank you. 
Going good. Yeah, it's going amazing. Mm -hmm. Right, we've got the material out now, and the forms are all ready. This is one that we've just done here, which looks okay. A nice uh, two inch form. More there. There we are. Right, and that's taped on the underside. That's the proper side. Black gaffer tape does the job. There we are. I'll paint it inside now. Ready for upholstery. I'll paint it outside as well. That's ready to go on. Near the hinge and some bits up there. That's the floor, we have to put another cup of paint on. Put the coats of paint on. Big seat at the back, all in all, not very nice. So, here we have the boat more or less done, just a bit of flooring up in there. Seat in, nice cushy seat, fishing rod holders. There at the bottom is my battery box unit, which is the voltmeters and charger point. That's where I've put this nice big seating arrangement here. The motor will go at the back there. All nicely painted here. Roma 2. And that blue front end there, that will lift up and jump. And it will actually come off as well. So we'll have it on most of the time if it's a nice day. That's the floor ready to go in. And that's what you call a nice door. Okay, just got to put the seat in over this, but this is what I have to do to get my batteries in there. In series, all the circuit breakers, voltage indicator, socket there for bilge pump. Seat goes on top. This is the electric motor, 24 volts. Wires get covered with seat. Voltage regulator, telling you how it's on it, and turn that on. She goes. Bob on. Coming on well now. And there we have the rear seating. The carpet going in there. But, uh, there's a floor going that bottom end just there. Took right some right seating is. And basically, Roma 2. Get that cover head. And she's off. And there's the emergency panel. Should we need it to get back to the side? And there's the 
is the floor. It's only on that side there for when they sat down. All done. Just the cover. Just waiting for some parts and the cover will go from there all the way down just to stop the water getting in when it's moored up.